Here we are then, it's time for another My Team episode, and this one is the Bahrain Grand Prix, the penultimate episode, penultimate round of this season, guys. If you haven't seen the last one, go check it out. It didn't get the best response, it went out a little bit later, and during the World Cup, I believe, but still, go check it out. Link in the top right to see exactly what happened in Jeddah. I can't lie, it was a big one. I can't really say much more, but a championship was at stake in that episode, and there was a few key moments which could decide the fate of this season. So, here we are. Arriving at today's episode, you can see the performance chart. Ferrari, Alfa Romeo bring upgrades. We had a failure on ours, so yeah, not much we can really do right now. Elsewhere, the last race was a big one. We secured, mathematically, and we won the Constructors' Championship with a 1-2 finish. However... The drivers are still up for grabs. Myself, Hulkenberg, Leclerc and Perez are the four that can win the title in the remaining couple of races. So, after practice, things were looking decent. Car was not great, you know, in terms of pace. I wasn't feeling super confident, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the setup I'm using is a league racing one, which is quite on edge and can feel a little bit hard to, you know, feel confident with. So, yeah, with that said, we're going to move to qualifying because... Our last couple of qualifiers haven't been the best, and I'm looking to try and improve that a little bit. Our race pace has been there for the last two races, and um, you know we've had that kind of dependency on a very, very good straight line speed, which we don't have this weekend, by the way. Our straight line speed is average, if not slightly under average, in this one. So we're going to have to send it for the corners to make up for it. So currently on our first time lap in Q1, we did get slightly hindered by Pierre Gasly leaving the pit lane, a slight distraction uh, visually into the Turn 1 apex. Eventually, we got past and made our way through turn four. On the exit, we did have a bit of a moment though, unfortunately, and it was a bit of a scruffy lap. Nonetheless, I kept on pushing just to see what this banker was going to be. And yeah, now going up to the line, opening the DRS, and the first lap is going to be a 1 minute 28.679, which at the time was last place. However, I'm fueled for two laps, and I went for a second push. Two little bits and pieces in terms of lap time here and there. I did actually uh, also got floor damage on this run, uh, which I had to repair afterwards. But it wasn't much of an issue in terms of pace. We just didn't quite have the rhythm on this tyre. And we're up by three tenths right now, but we are currently P21. I can see that we're not going to improve looking at Schumacher's time. We need about eight tenths. So I'm just going to pit and abandon on that lap and give up. So as you can see, I'm currently serving repairs on the floor and the diffuser. Minute um to go until that's fixed and we're gonna hopefully get enough time for one time lap so we need to find at least a full second minimum you know uh, we're currently on a 28.6 we need a 27.6 to get through and that's without accounting for everybody else improving on their final runs as well so here it is, here it is then pretty much our last attempt we have to get through this could be decisive in the championship so down to turn one break at 100 down to third gear didn't quite get all the apex as we then get back on the power through two and then into three using all the curbs there as we open the DRS running up the hill it to turn number four braking just before the curb on the left fourth gear shifting the fifth on the short shift and then smoothly done on the exit as we make our way into the downhill kind of left and right into the turn eight hairpin now bringing the car over to the left straight line braking and then trail brake into the corner Checkered flag drops and we're currently three quarters of a second up, so this is looking pretty good. The Sappen goes faster with a new personal best into turn 10 using all the curb. Nice clean exit, decent traction as well. And we open the DRS and we're pretty much at a full second up as we drop to last place. Into now the final part of the lap and the end of sector two. Up the hill, trying to use that horsepower as we end sector two. And we're currently a tenth up on Zhou Guan Yu and uh, now less than a tenth up on Yuki Sonoda in P18 so this could be marginal we need a good final sector here otherwise we could be looking at a Q1 knockout even on this lap right now final corner beautifully done great traction and we find another couple of attempts 1.4 seconds up 27.4 the time to beat across the line is it enough? yes it is and we get through in P14 only just and that was a big relief, but not, you know, the kind of pace I was hoping for in qualifying early on. So, yeah, as you can see, P14, we get through by less than a tenth. 
to be fair, it's a pretty competitive field, uh, especially you know P1 to P17, Bottas, uh, less than eight tenths, really, really close, and there's a bit more of a gap to the other cars behind. But for us, that is a bit of a red flag, a bit of a scare that we're that far off the pace down in 14th place. Nonetheless, into Q2 now though, our first lap was on the same set of tires we just used. So they are a little bit used, a little bit, you know, burned up. As we start the lap, we're going to see if we can hopefully set a strong banker as Fernando Alonso goes fastest in the Alpine with 26.7. Through turn one, didn't quite catch the apex, but oversteer as well on exit. And then through turn two, we have another moment after which I decided to just back off and abandon as I really wasn't happy with that. So I called the tires off and had enough fuel for one more, so we tried again. At this point, our tyres were pushing like 20% where we have a moment at the final corner as we clipped the kerb at the wrong point and we set a 27.6, which just isn't that good. You know, um, pace-wise, it's looking a bit tough. Um, last place right now, P16, heading on to the last run. We have one set of tyres left. Realistically, to get through, we're going to need a bit of a miracle, I think. Our personal best is 27.4, which is what we'll set in Q1 to get through in the first place. So, let's see. Fresh set of tyres, let's go for a full lap and let's see if we can pull off a miracle here. I wouldn't say it's impossible to get 27-1, track evolution could help. So, let's try again, let's see if we can try and make this happen. Down to turn one, braking at 100 once again. Down to third gear. Don't quite trouble the apex yet again, which is a bit of a time loss. On the exit though, we do get a decent run through here. Didn't really commit to the throttle though through turn three, so we're about even right now, heading up into turn four. Brake at the kerb, down to fourth gear. Again, didn't quite trouble the apex. On the power, we also don't do anything that spectacular. We have some wheel spin as we don't really get the power down at the right point. We bottom out on the kerb. Down the hill now, we do find a bit of time through six, seven, and eight, trying to recover that lap time. We get an excellent exit there, and we're up by a tenth, heading into turn nine, turn 10. Try to straight line break this, and then down to fourth, clip the apex, which we don't do. We miss it completely. I tried to traction up on the exit kerb, but we just have a horrible bit of oversteer. And you can see, I already know I'm out. You know, that mistake is just too much. But we'll keep pushing to see if we can still try to finish ahead of, you know, of P16, which is where we are right now. A bit more time found through the left-hander. Now flat out through the long right as we end sector two, up by half a tenth. Currently a tenth and a half down on Sebastian Vettel. So maybe if we deliver in this last sector, we can have a decent run to the line here as we spot the breaking point. I'm going to be aggressive here and take a risk and take the league racing slash esports line, which is basically outbreak yourself run it right out of the white line but we just pushed it a bit too much you can see i was up by three and a half tenths there was that much time you know taking that line which i do or well, i have done in my league racing because everyone's so fast you have to just do it every lap and take that gamble but generally it's not my preference because it's very very hard to get right and the confidence you need for that has to be supreme which i didn't have in this car in this session so i decided to play it safe now for that specific run, I took the gamble, I took the risky line by basically breaking later than usual. Still got the apex, but then you basically carry more corner speed, making the corner wider, and you basically run it really fine on the white line on the exit, and we just ran a little bit wide, which is a real shame. Nonetheless, we wouldn't have got through, but P13 was on the table. I think we could have definitely achieved that uh, without question, had we not run out of track limits. However, it is what it is. On a clean lap, a perfect lap, you know, with those mistakes, you know, through the start of the lap, turn four as well, and also turn 10, I could have maybe gone to Q3, but it would have required an absolutely perfect lap time. Hulkenberg, though, only P10, which is really good for the championship. Hopefully, he qualifies somewhere near there in Q3 as well. But for now, that's it for qualifying. We're now going to move into the race. The stage is set for another enthralling race in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, will they be able to add to their record today? Formula One returns to the desert today and this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and it could be a strategic race this one, with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have 
Perez, Hamilton, Nico Hülkenberg, and Ricardo, Gasly, Ocon, Vettel, and Carlos Sainz. Joe, Norris, they've taken a grid penalty. Kevin Magnussen, and Verstappen. Martinez, Bottas, Alex Albon, and Yuki Tsunoda. Mick Schumacher, Stroll, Latifi, and Fernando Alonso rounds off the grid. Now it lights out just moments away. It's time to go down to the track. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box, and it's fantastic to have you here with us today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the run down into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. Now this race could be a very, very decisive and painful race. I feel like I'm really glad now we won the last race in Jeddah because we have serious pace issues here at Bahrain. I feel like the race pace, like always, is going to be stronger, but I don't really have the overpowered straight line speed that I've had recently to enjoy, so that could be an issue in itself. Besides that, I'm not 100% confident with the car, the setup, and the feeling I'm getting. So... Medium to hard tyre, one stop, very straightforward, very simple. I think the AI will do pretty much the same thing. Fuel-wise, I'm going to go about 1.5 laps extra. But realistically, it's going to be a tough race. I am hoping for just a points finish. Obviously, it helps that Hulkenberg seems to be a bit slow. And, you know, isn't really that quick this weekend. But let's see what happens. Either way, it's going to be a tough one. And uh, we have to try and fire back and pretty much li limit the damage. So yeah, let's leave a like and subscribe if you go on to enjoy this one. And also a prediction down below because this could really set up the finale now, but that'd be really nicely for the final episode. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Here we go then. This is it. Hopefully a clean race and we don't get caught up in too many incidents, especially as we're quite far down the order. Got a couple of soft tire runners around us. And we're on mediums like Verstappen, who's a bit down the order here. So let's get ready. Let's line her up. There we go. Perfect. And let's do this. Right, sound. Away we go. It's not the best start. I'm backing out of that. I was going to try and stick my nose in, but no point fine against those on softs realistically that hard. Got Schumacher on softs as well. Some different strategies here. One too many cars on softs in my liking, so we might have to start battling them. I uh, don't want to lose too much time or track position. So P17 for us, but that was a horrible start. The getaway was fine, but then the traction kicked in and we had absolutely nothing on the rear tyres. Oh, almost went into the back of Sonoda there. They are breaking way more than I thought. And then to re-challenge the Alpha Tauri, that's a nice move. Sonoda now, though, will fight back into turn 10. That's all pretty tight through here. We're going to make our car nice and wide, though, and make sure we get in front. So P16. In the end, we lost one place in this first lap. Let's see if we can make some progress here. Schumacher's Noda battling, which is good, so that will take the pressure off from behind. But very important that we stay in the DRS train. I'd like to think we have the pace to do that, but it also wouldn't entirely surprise me. But I really bloody hope for the sake of this video and this race that we do have the pace to do so. Let's see how we also manage the tyres. I am running pretty high pressures. Two clips in the front, four on the rear. It will be a lot better on the hard tyre, a bit like in Jeddah in the last episode. So we just got to kind of get through this medium task stint. But that's lap one done. Let's see if we can start to make some progress. Slow cars ahead. Bit of a battle going on. A Ferrari's involved. I didn't actually notice on the grid rundown if there was a Ferrari that was penalised. But one of the Ferraris is battling right now. Either way, that's keeping us in check. You can see there's a big break in the train now. Also, whoever that lead Ferrari is, they're pulling away. So a few breakaways starting to occur. 
It is Charles Leclerc who's out front, by the way, and has that gap. So Leclerc doing exactly what he needs to do for the championship. As we have more battling ahead, Magnussen and Joe going at it. It's important that we to try to make some moves if we can, but the pace isn't stellar at this point in time. Just trying to stay close, but Verstappen's getting away. He's not a threat anymore, of course, in the championship. He's mathematically out of contention, but Verstappen would be a good car to follow. Might try and go for the move on Bottas, depending on the exit that we get. It's good. Let's go for it. Let's use the battery. Personal best. You can see the straight line speed this time is a lot more normal. We're going to go to the outside. And hope Bottas doesn't lock up a wheel. There we go. Lando also battling Joe in front. So we might have a chance here to get another one as Lando goes for a double dip on Joe Guanyu. Into turn four. They're both a bit slow, but we might have a look. But be careful. We do not want to lose a front wing. Joe goes through, and so do we at Lando, which is a good move to make because Lando's on the same strategy as us, so that's important. Closing in on Joe. He doesn't have DRS on Magnussen, so this should be an easier move on the last one. We won't even have to use too much battery, hopefully. We can just use DRS. There we go. Now we're starting to reel him in. Slowly, but steadily. Up the inside on the brakes. Nice, clean move. That's another one down, P13. Kevin Magnussen up next, let's get after it and try and get to the top 12. Making good progress now, more battling up ahead. Personal best in the last lap and now personal best sector one. Got ourselves within DRS range of Magnussen who's caught up to Ocon. Ocon got overtaken by Seb and is now struggling for pace in that medium tire. So important that we try to get Ocon if we can, for strategy. And then we're staring at some points if we get past these two. So. I think we're looking pretty good. We've also dropped Joe and Bottas. Starting to feel a bit more confident now. Car feels much better in race trim. My pace is also quite strong. Just currently recharging the battery, but we're getting ready to make a move here. I'm also expecting soft finals to pit starting from this lap. Magnussen struggling for pace here. I almost went for the move there, but Magnussen got some pretty insane acceleration. At the minute, we're all bunching up this little five-car train being led by Ricardo, and I think he's in P8, so let's see if we can try now work to get to the front of it. Starting from now, Magnussen is struggling quite badly on that soft tire, so the invitation is there. And then the other soft runners also have, are going to have the same issue. So let's see if we can make a pass. Magnussen struggling. We're going to make sure we get the DRS, but not pass him until after the detection point like that and there we go Sebastian Vettel pits so does Esteban Arcon oh sorry Kevin Magnussen let's get after Esteban Arcon now he's next and then we can chase after Verstappen so the engine where Arcon has just turned on I'm guessing for the energy store yes it is I'm looking to make the pass on Arcon on this lap tyres are okay I wish you is fuel. We're pretty much a third of the way through and we've burned over a third of the fuel. We started with 1.5 so we may have to do some fuel management in this race if we want to make sure we make it. But pit stop needs to hopefully help us recharge a bit of fuel or save a bit of fuel. I've been saving battery the last couple of laps behind lock on but I need the battery to get through and also what's happened now going for the move on Ricardo so let's try and get lock on here. As we approach the pit phase, it's important that we try to make some moves now. The pace is good. Here we go. The Alpine is really fast on the straight. We're barely making a dent. Gonna swing it around the outside though. And that gives us the inside into the next corner. And we can get by. Lovely stuff. The Staffan also makes the move, so important now that we try to get after Ricardo. Who is looking to re-challenge and Max actually locks up. And that allows Ricardo back through, so lovely. That's worked out well. Let's try and get this P7 if we can. The moment I try to push that, the fuel just drops. Gonna have to do a bit of lift and coast, especially in this middle part of the lap. There goes Verstappen on Ricardo this time. Looks like he's got it done. We're also closing in on signs quite a bit. But it looks like Max does get the job done. 
I'm not going to have the RS here, but that's okay. We're within range, so we'll hopefully stick with them. They are battling quite heavy right now, and I think they're using engine mode as they're going to pit this lap. Oh, Science makes a mistake, and that just lets this happen straight through. So Carlos locking up the hairpin, and he's got no DRS, so Ricardo is now going to put him under pressure. Science defends hard. This is going to invite us now onto the scene. Let's see if we can get involved here. Ricardo signs still side by side as they head up the hill. Could be on for a double overtake here. Just got to be careful to not lose a wing. I'm expecting Ricardo to pit. The player hasn't pit, so signs could be in with him. So this could be a pit stop battle brewing right here between these two. So I can't really pass on the right hand side. And no, neither of them pit. Right, well, in that case. We'll try and go for it. Science is re-challenging without any DRS. I'm trying to have a look. But neither are willing to budge. And we just have to try and manage it as we go around the outside of Signs. Again, he's got no DRS, or he has now actually, so we're gonna have to defend. On the inside. Hold on. There it is. Just happened getting away. Which is not what we want. Let's try and get Ricardo soon as well. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ricardo lost it on the power there. That's P7 for us now. Happy days. Let's see if we can try and pull away from Ocon and Signs. Signs have made another mistake. Signs is making errors. Something's not right with that Ferrari, but either way. We're through up into P7 now. Hulkenberg's P5. We'll start off one more. Ocon also staying out. Looks like we'll be ahead of Hamilton and Hulkenberg. The snapping is going to be just ahead of a Clo rejoins in front of us. Yellow flag. It's further behind. It's not a in a car DNF or it might be actually yes it is it's Carlos signs. Okay the virtual safety car's been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high level of debris on track. track. Be careful. Right now this is massive and that is why we didn't stay out. So that's why we stayed out. You know we didn't pit because we can always go longer. So now safety car okay. Right, let's pit. Let's get the one and only stop out of the way. Really glad I stayed out. That was a decisive call and could be decisive in the championship. Yet again, every decision counts now. Into the pit lane we go. Ocon not right behind us, so we've, met, we've got a slight gap there. We don't quite manage to hold up the staff, which is what I was hoping for, but still, Hulkenberg pits. Okay, Nico's into the pits. Nico in the pits. He must have got damage. That must have been the reason why at turn one it's a slow stop from the pit crew and that's going to cost Hulkenberg. He's got no front wing. So this could decide the championship right here. Look after these tyres now and want to finish the race on this compound. We're going to rejoin just in front of Magnussen. So we're going to be P8 in this race, which isn't a massive haul of points. Leclerc right now is in the driving seat. But Hulkenberg may have just lost the championship in this race. Whatever happened, I'll put a replay up. We would have seen it by now. But something happened at Turn 1 involving Carlos Sainz, who dnf of course. And Hulkenberg could be out of running for this championship. Here we go then. Restart time. Let's see if it all goes well. Admittedly, I haven't saved as much fuel as I'd like. But anyway, we're going to get the chance to pass off on here straight away. Can't pass before the finish line. Magnussen's going to get the run. You can see we're down on straight line speed when we get into a full straight line speed battle. Oh my god, I had to take evasive action there. And it's not over yet. Oh my god. Magnussen causing chaos. Somehow we're still alive. Genuinely thought we'd lose our wing there, but we're still alive and kicking. We're going to force gas to the outside. Ocon with a crazy restart, but we're still alive, and that's all that matters. Lost a bunch of time there. Let's try and stick with the snapping if we can. That would be ideal to try and stay in these DRS. So you can see fuel-wise, 
We haven't saved as much as I'd like, but we're going to be okay to make it to the end now, I think, even if we push absolutely flat out. But we are probably going to use up the majority, if not all of the fuel in what's left of this race, as we're now going to push flat out to the end. Oh, Leclerc off. He's making the same errors as Sainz was. He was leading the race, but he's now down to P4, so Leclerc has trouble, and he's lost the place to Ocon. Yellow flag further back. More cars making mistakes. But this could be decisive for the championship here. If Leclerc starts making those errors, we're going to be outscoring our rivals. Perez is the race leader right now. That win could bring him back into contention for the last race. But right now, we're on course to outscore Hulkenberg, and we could be looking to outscore Leclerc. He is really struggling now, battling Ocon and Verstappen for P4. And he pits. So damage for Leclerc. That could be the championship. It's super, super important now that we try and finish ideally in P4. If we could get Verstappen and Ocon, that would be insane. I think I'd take a top five though if we could just get Ocon alone. But for now, Ocon's hanging in there. But this race has turned yet again. Leclerc won't score points today. Hulkenberg is still alive and to be fair, he's not too far behind. But... We're going to outscore Hulkenberg today if everything goes according to plan, which is going to be big. There goes Verstappen and Ocon. These two are still going to continue their scrap. And Verstappen gets damage. So he's going to pit. And now we're going to get a chance to get past Ocon here for P4. Absolutely no straight line speed whatsoever. On the brakes, a little bit cautious, breaking nice and early to avoid uh, breaking myself. We've done that before. But there we go, we're through, and we can send Arcon hopefully packing away into a battle with Pierre Gasly. That's exactly what we want. We're going to get to the corner nice and quickly to avoid being dive-bombed. And there we go, P4, that is huge. And both Mercs on the podium with Perez in the race lead right now. Final 10 laps of this race. And we've got... Oh my god car park at the final corner we've got a blockade at the final corner I don't know what's happened safety car oh my god it's not just safety car Nico Hulkenberg is out of the race that is it his championship could be over right there that is it he fought back into the points but that could be the nail in the coffin now the big question is, I've got a fresh set of softs, do we go for it? We'd lose out to Ocon and Gasly, but we'd be P6 on a fresh set of soft tyres. I'm staying out, I'm not going to pit. I think we'd lose out to Bottas and Ricardo as well, so it's not worth it. We've got P4, Hulkenberg out the points, Leclerc. I think he's just out of points, so let's just focus on locking up this P4. That's going to be the target. Right then, here we go. Restart time. Safety car number two. Let's get ready. Checo will lead us away. Important now that we just bring this car home. I'll take a P4 right now. Back underway. Using the battery, we're not going to be under pressure this time from Rockon. So we can just take the normal racing line and try to get some temperature in the tyres because they're stone cold right now. Easy does it. Out of two and three, Ocon's going to probably look for the move here, so we're going to have to defend just to be safe. Into turn four, there we go. That was a much smoother restart though compared to last time. And Choco still holds on to the lead. Well, I can't believe I'm saying this, but last lap of the race, and it looks like we are going to finish P4. A race where we didn't have the pace and generally I would have been happy with a top eight finish or a top six you know that's kind of the pace we had a good recovery drive but crucially staying out in the first stint going longer we get the crucial safety car then a second one to help us out a little bit more in the second stint but my god what an event what a penultimate round Checo wins with the fastest lap we finish in P4 Hulkenberg doesn't score a point Victory 
for the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. So here we have it then, the race results are in, in Bahrain, and my god, what a race, what a performance, it had everything. In the end, Charles Leclerc doesn't score points, Nico Hülkenberg doesn't score points, and Checo Perez, the outsider in P4 in the Drivers' Championship, scores maximum points with a fastest lap as well. Both Mercs on the podium, Ocon in the points, Gas in the points, Joe in the points, Verstappen only P8, and then Ricardo and Alonso round out the top 10. Leclerc P11 on the two stop having that damage at the end and then confirmation further down of Hülkenberg DNFing. So yeah, let's see what happens in terms of the standings. As you can see, we are top and heading into the finale, we have a 20 point gap over Hülkenberg, a 25 point gap over Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc is mathematically out of contention. So Checo brings himself in with a chance in the final race. In the Constructors, we have now officially won that. It was confirmed in the last race, albeit with some doubt. So we've got one championship and we have one hand on the Drivers' Championship. The double is on. The next race is Abu Dhabi, guys, and let's see what happens in the finale. But guys, that is it for this one in Bahrain. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. And the next one is going to be the one to close out the season and possibly close out the series as a whole so hopefully you guys are excited for that as always check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them already and i'll see you guys in the next one in abu dhabi until then take care and let's goodbye from me